stars, planets, this artwork, this guy filming me, all this stuff is made of matter. We see it because it emits or reflects light. Now it might sound surprising, but this ordinary matter only accounts for a small amount of all the stuff out there in the universe. Much more of that stuff is dark and mysterious, something scientists refer to as dark matter. So ordinary matter accounts for just 5% of all the stuff out there in the universe. Meanwhile, 27% of it is accounted for by dark matter. The remaining 68% is known as dark energy, but that's a story for another video. The concept of dark matter took a long time to be fully accepted by the science community. Many people credit the Swiss astronomer Fitz Zwicky as the first person to provide compelling evidence for its existence. While working in the 1930s at the California Institute of Technology, Zwicky was studying the rotational velocity of galaxies contained within the Coma Cluster. That's basically a massive collection of galaxies a long, long way from Earth. Galaxies contained within clusters such as the Coma Cluster tend to be flung outward to the edges. It's the same thing you experience when riding on a merry-go-round when you feel yourself being pushed out to the sides. Gravity, on the other hand, tends to pull the galaxies back towards the center. What Zwicky realized though is that there didn't seem to be enough luminous mass contained within the coma cluster to stop it from flying apart. But he was so convinced in his measurements that he was sure the extra mass must be there, it's just we couldn't see it for some reason. To begin with, other scientists laughed at Zwicky's idea of dark matter. But today there's plenty of other evidence to suggest its existence. One key result came in the 1970s when Vera Rubin and Kent Ford used dark matter to explain the motions of stars moving within individual galaxies. Then there's also gravitational lensing where light coming from distant sources is distorted by the gravitational pull of all the matter that lies between us and the source of the light. This so-called gravitational lensing allows us to work out the mass of a system regardless of its visible matter. So if we accept that dark matter does exist, do we know what it actually is? Well, the short answer is no, people can't agree on that. One theory is that it's made from weakly interacting massive particles, or WIMPs for short. That's basically a catch-all phase for any particle larger than a proton that interacts with visible matter via the weak nuclear force. So has anyone actually seen any of this dark matter yet? Well, there have been a few claims, but basically nothing has been fully accepted by the community yet. Physicists are looking for the particles in both direct and indirect ways on Earth and in space. And you know, they might strike gold. The problem is though, because the particles are expected to interact so weakly, we could be waiting a very, very long time. Now it should be said as well, there are some people out there who still claim that dark matter doesn't exist. Instead, what they do is, to explain these weird astronomical anomalies, they modify Newton's ideas about gravity when applied over large scales into so-called MOND theories. But I'll leave it to someone else to make a film about those. For now though, we'll just have to live with the fact that most of our universe still remains dark and mysterious.